You're crazy. Good morning, everybody. We just got back from Target. I did a Target pickup. I just had to get a couple things. Mainly, I had to get dish soap because I'm out. So, funny story, I used to get Mrs. Meyer's dish soap all the time, and the dish soap refill and the hand soap refill looked the same, and I thought I got a bunch of the hand soap refill on sale many months ago, but it was a ton of dish soap. Didn't realize that till I got home. But I just thought I had all this dish soap left over Went to go refill my little pump thing, and the only one I had left was a hand soap. I went to Target, got a couple things. I got some things for a projects that I'm doing in the future. I also got something fun for Paul. And when we pulled up, Paul had some uh, fan mail. He has an Amazon box. I think I know what that is, but I'm gonna show you what that is. Also, last night I made ham and potato cheese casserole. I think it's also called funeral potatoes. Delicious. I'm gonna show you that video right now. So it is one of the hottest days of 2021 so far, and I am making a casserole. It's like 80 degrees outside, but I have leftover ham from Easter that I wanna get used up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this leftover ham and potato casserole from allrecipes.com. I'm gonna make it in little bits and pieces. It's only 3.30, but I have a little munchkin and he sometimes prevents me from doing stuff. So I'm debating whether I wanna get my veggie topper out or not. I think I'm going to. My scoochie's over. This thing is amazing. This little guy makes such easy work out of chopping stuff. All right, potatoes are all chopped. So now I'm gonna put these on the stove. So we have all this amazing ham from Easter dinner that I'm going to cut about two cups of this. And it doesn't really say how big, so I'm just gonna fill this guy up with two cups, roughly. This is a little over two cups, but I still have a lot of ham left, so I'm just trying to use it up. Okay, so I just want them to be a little tender, and I can easily pierce one with a knife. It's been about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna pull these off and drain them real fast. Just using the same pot here. Got about three tablespoons of butter. And here's my frozen onion. And then I'm also gonna add my two cups of ham in here. And it said just to cook this till the onion is no longer frozen and no longer white like translucent. So just a couple minutes. So the onions look good enough to me. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my potatoes. Mix this all around, and then we're gonna put this in the casserole dish to have right here. Okay, again, in my same little skillet here, I'm gonna add approximately a quarter cup of butter and then I'm gonna add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And we're gonna cook this around for a minute and then we're gonna add a cup and a half of milk. So I'm just gonna slowly add a cup and a half of milk. I'm using whole milk. See how fast that thickens. I'm gonna add the rest. Okay, then let's add a little bit of salt. A little pepper. And then I'm gonna use this mac and cheese blend that I get from Food Lion. It is amazing and things like this. I'm just gonna dump it all in. It is cheddar cheese, American cheese, and Swiss cheese. I think I'm gonna ditch the whisk. Go back to my spoonula. I think this mixes better. 
I have the heat off, it's just on, so it'll keep my pan a little bit hot so this melts. So the cheese is almost completely melted, but I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this over those potatoes. I think I'm just gonna get in here a little bit and just kind of mix it ever so slightly. Then I'm just gonna cover the top with some breadcrumbs. Italian's the only kind I have, and that's a quarter cup. So now I'm just gonna let this hang out here on the stove, and then when it gets closer to dinner time, I'm going to put this in a 350 oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. I'm also going to heat up some cornbread I made yesterday and some, what did I do? Asparagus, I think, on Easter. We have some asparagus left over, so I think that's gonna be our green for this. So I'll show you when it comes out. That was delicious. I was kind of hoping it was gonna use up a little bit more ham than it did. So I have more ham and I think we're either going to do a ham and cheese quiche tonight or I'm gonna make my life easy and do an impossibly easy that's using Bisquick. They have a ham and cheese quiche kind of thing. So I'm not sure. One of those, more ham tonight because I really want it to be gone. I just have a little bit left that I wanna use up and the rest will just have an omelets or sandwiches or something. Let me show you everything that we got. <laughs> So here's everything in my Target run. Obviously, the big guy in the back. I got Paul's swing. I'm so excited for this to put this outside. I'm really hoping that this will slightly entertain him while I do some gardening here and there in the backyard. So I'm hoping I can con Matt into hanging that up maybe tonight. But the main reason why I went today was to get dish soap. So I'm switching up from Mrs. Myers because this is a lot less expensive, the method. And this is the Clementine smell. And it had a lot of really good reviews on Target. I also just got some antibacterial wet wipe. I got my once every five year purchase of Hershey's syrup because I actually ran out. Some bananas for Mr. Paul. Then I started finding, we love this Nature's Bakery fig bars from, where we get this, Costco. And I found this apple cinnamon flavor and I saw that they had these oatmeal crumbles. So I got that in strawberry and apple. I'm really excited for these. Little snacks for Paul, little bunny grams. We've been like obsessed with Oreos lately. So I just got some regular Oreos. Then I got some Jello for a project I have coming up here. So I got some blue and some red, I think this was cherry for, this is oddly going to be a flag day dessert that I'm making. Then dairy wise, I got some more cheddar cheese so we can have burgers the next couple days because we are getting a grill this weekend, finally. We didn't have a grill all last year. I told Matt we need one, so we're gonna run to Home Depot, I think tomorrow, and grab a grill. I got some Swiss cheese for the ham and quiche, ham and cheese quiche tonight. I got some Parmesan because I don't see this just straight grated Parmesan very often and it makes really good risotto. So I was thinking possibly risotto. String cheese for me mostly. I got some deep dish crust pie crust because I like these better than the pie crust in a box. It's just so much easier. It comes with its own little pan. So in case I decide to make a quiche tonight, I'll be using this. And then I've just been craving frozen pizza because Moss Family TV Fallon was doing pepperoni pizza every single Friday to find the best. They voted that Motor City Pizza was the best. I can't find that anywhere in Virginia, so I just went old school DiGiorno. So let me put this all away, and then I'll show you what Paul got in the mail today. So I opened the Amazon box, and Paul received this in the mail today. I can't wait to set it up. He's gonna freak out and love this. It had a gift receipt of like what it is if you wanna return it, but it doesn't have like the gift, Amazon gift card, message one, and I know my sister-in-law always writes funny messages, so it's unfortunate that's not in the box, but I know it's from, this is from his Aunt Leslie Alcomark and his little baby cousin Nolan, who's only like three and a half, four months old. I'm gonna attempt to build this without Matt because I can do that. I'm sure it's not that hard. But my sister-in-law, or Paul's Aunt Leslie, is a physical therapist, and she recommended this little table to help little Paul walking as he's standing over there on the windowsill, so I think he's really gonna like this. Let me build this and see what he does. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the Monday And as the light startled our eyes We let go of 
something in the air And a sparkly shimmer on our skin Restoring everything within Oh, dreamy, breezy we go about 3 15 i'm about ready to start with dinner and i'm going to make an impossibly easy ham and swiss pie this is a bisquick recipe the only thing i don't have is shredded swiss cheese i was able to find this at target so i'm going to use the cheese slice but the really good thing about this is i'm going to make it right now and i'm just going to put it in the fridge and then right before we're ready to eat i'm going to throw it in the oven right from the fridge that's why i like these recipes they're so make ahead friendly As a young girl, the fields were mine We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back all the way back to them days Running around In a gown and a crown Barefoot No mistake ever kept me Fireflies and winters on our skates One big smile across my face We used to dance our way to church on Sundays Mama set the pace Daydreamer, kidding and me Take me back, all the way back to them days Good. 